So here we have example three for using quantity value tables to organize information from a systems of equations word problem. So example three is using the information in the problem to calculate a GPA. So we're going to actually have a missing quantity that we're going to have to solve for. So now we're going to end up with an equation and we're going to have to do a little bit of algebra once the table is complete to actually find that missing quantity. So our problem is how many credit hours of A's at four points per credit hour does Alex need to raise his 24 credit hours at 1.875 GPA to a 2.5 GPA? So let's start by filling in the headers for our table. So the first column is our item. Our second is our quantity. Our third is our value. And the last is the Q times V, or quantity times the value. So let's look at the information that we have. So far, Alex has taken 24 credit hours. So what we can do is we can say he has taken credits, right? Because he's already completed those courses. And then we're looking at how much he needs. So the, we're going to look at his credit needed, right? Those are the two items that we're looking at. And of course, the last box here is our total. So taking credits, quantity. How many credits has he taken? He's taken 24 credit hours. And the value is his GPA, right? So his value here is a 1.875. Sorry, I wrote that in the wrong box. So his taking credits is 24. And his value is 1.875. So now we want to know how many, his, how many credits he needs of A's that are worth four points. So we don't know, that's what we're finding. We're going to call that X. It's unknown and it's what we're solving for. The number of credits he needs at a value of four points. So here our total is going to be the 24 plus the X and our total overall average value is our GPA that Alex hopes to have after he completes these courses. So his new GPA he's looking for, the 2.5, is the overall total average. So that's going to be our total value. So now what we can do is do our multiplication across our Q times V to find out what goes in our QV column. So 24 times 1.875 is 45 and then X times 4 is just 4X. Now this, this box here is going to give us our equation that we need to solve algebraically to find out how many credit hours Alex needs. So it's going to be the 24 plus X times the 2.5, which we can write like this, is going to equal the sum of this column, which is going to be the 45 plus the 4X. So now we have our equation to solve, right? So what we can go ahead and do, we can go ahead and use the distributive property to get this split up. So we're going to have 22.5 times 24 is 60 plus 2.5x equals the 45 plus 4x. So first thing we want to get all of our unknowns, our variable together. So we subtract 2.5x from both sides and we get 60 is equal to 45 
plus 1.5x. Now we're going to subtract 45 from both sides to isolate our variable. We want to get x all by itself. So the first step is to get rid of the 45. So we end up with 15 equals 1.5x. And the second part of isolating our variable, we divide both sides by 1.5 so we can get what our x is equal to. So now we have our x equals 10. So we have a word problem. The expectation is that our answer is going to be written in a sentence. It's going to be our question is asked with words, so our answer should be given as words. So our answer, even though we have 10, x equals 10, is that Alex needs 10 credit hours of A's to raise his GPA to a 2.5. Okay? Now, there's one last thing we want to do. We want to check our answer. So we have the 24 times the 1.875, which is 45, plus now the 10 times 4x, which is the 4, I'm sorry, 10 times 4, divided by our total number of credits that should be taken, which would be the 24 plus the 10. So you get 85 divided by 34, which is 2.5. And this was our target GPA, 2.5, it matches, it checks. So that means our answer here is correct.